What's good ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. Here we are on Airfield War taking out the Sherman Firefly Boilermaker, the tier 6 British premium medium tank which is in the game due to the, I forget the name of the comics now, the Dark Horse comics which followed the, or which basically was the World of Tanks comic. And this was one of the tanks which featured in the comic and it now is in the game. If you didn't know what this tank is in the game for, it's the tank which featured in the Dark Horse comic on the, the World of Tanks rollout comic. And obviously now it's in the game. And it's a very cool looking Firefly. The Firefly is a cool tank in general, but having all of the tracks and everything around the turret and on the armor looks very cool indeed and the reason that i wanted to upload this replay is because i've had it for a very long time and i just couldn't believe that this was not a mastery badge because i've done less damage in a fury than this and i've earned a mastery badge from it so i don't know what i could have done what more i could have done to secure the mastery badge but taking some early game shots at this Nassorn right here and guys I at this point I was training a crew in this tank so I don't have any crew skills so this was with a bog standard base crew no sixth sense no camouflage no brothers in arms no repairs no nothing taking some nice shots at the enemy boiler maker now but backing up to make sure I don't take a hit from him spotted again now should be able to get a decent shot away, which we do. The 17 pounder gun is very, very nice on this tank. Decent rate of fire, very good penetration, slightly increased alpha damage in comparison to the American 76 millimeter. As you would expect, that shot tracked the boiler maker, but then he got taken out. So this is a tier eight game, ladies and gentlemen. This and this is this is another reason why. I couldn't believe that this wasn't a mastery because I am bottom tier and we have a very decent performance but we just weren't able to secure the mastery badge so getting some nice side shots on the VK 4502A but he backs up into cover we have an enemy KV4 pushing around that corner as well and I'm just checking all around me to make sure nothing else is going on we should be able to get a shot at the Borsig right here. The thinnest of shots. Nothing. Actually, no, we, we weren't able to get a shot away at that guy. But we can aim for the VK4502 once again. And we do have APCR loaded now simply because there's a T34-3 around our base zone. We know that the enemy KV-4 is going to push around that corner soon enough. And we are going to need those APCR shells to go through that KV-4. Should be leading the shots on the T-34-3 as well. Just waiting for him to get spotted once again so that we can take another shot at him. Unfortunately, the first shot was eaten by his tracks. The enemy KV-4 has pushed around but isn't in a position for us to shoot him yet. But the T-34-3 pops up once again. We have very good velocity on these APCR rounds. And that one just strikes the T-34-3, damaging his ammo wreck. But now we don't have any shots at him anyway. So I suspect that the enemy KV-4 is in a position for us to shoot at now. But we spot an enemy T-34 as well. The enemy T-34 takes a shot at us while on the move. But I did not realize that until now. And I should be able to spot him again. His turret is looking a different way. Going to be able to shoot him now. Didn't really need the APCR rounds for this particular engagement. I am shooting down at him. And I did have his side armor right there as well. And our standard rounds are decent enough to go straight through. He's taking speculative snapshots at us. And we can just chip away while he reloads. Should be able to get one more shot away. But we back up so as not to take any damage from the T-34. T-34 hits our friendly tank destroyer to our right-hand side. And now we are going to have the reload to just finish him off. Which we do successfully. 
Now the enemy KV-4 takes a shot at us while on the move, but it doesn't hit. Trying to get the gun depression right here. The Firefly only has five degrees of gun depression. And we are definitely going to need the APCR rounds to go through this armor. KV-4 is very thick, very well armored. As you can see by that bounce right there. Didn't place that shot all that well, but we're going for the flat side of... Or flat rear of his turret now. Just chipping away. Should be able to finish him off here. But we low roll for 135. And now we can't shoot him. So we're up to 21 hits of damage so far with only three critical hits and one spotted assisted hit. The KV-5 gets... Sorry, the KV-4 gets taken out, not the KV-5. If I said KV-5 before that, I'm sorry as well. It is a KV-4. But uh, we're up to 21 hits of damage so far. In a tier 8 game, that's not too shabby whatsoever. But I'm hungry for more. And we now have to hunt down the enemy artillery as well as the AMX AC-46. And I believe that the tank destroyer will be over in this location somewhere. It's just a case of where he's going to be. So I'm going to push up towards the enemy base. Because if he's retreating, I should be able to intercept him. Swapping back to our regular AP rounds because I shouldn't have any trouble going through this tank destroyer should we spot him. The enemy artillery gets spotted over in K0. And just as I am pushing towards the enemy base, the AMX gets lit up and we take some shots on the move at him. That one unfortunately missed just due to my poor aiming. And we actually bounced his shell right there because of the angle that he shot us from. And the fact that we have the added spaced armor of the tracks on the side of our tank. Now he can traverse better than I can in that tank. He damages my ammo. Now I need to take the time to aim for his tracks. Because if I can keep him stable, if I can keep him like this, it's just going to be a case of rest in pepperonis. And he gets finished off by my teammate while I kept him tracked. 24 hits of damage now, seven critical hits, one spotted assisted hit, one kill, and one tracked assisted hit. And now it's only the enemy artillery remaining, and he is sitting in a spot where we are unable to shoot him from. A very sneaky spot which artillery can get into on this map, allowing them to shoot you freely and making it a challenge for you to shoot them but ladies and gentlemen the boilermaker is a very pretty tank indeed i love the olive drab camouflage with the added spaced armor of all those tracks on the front and the side and the turret it looks cool it looks just like the firefly on war thunder that i have when you unlock the option to add spaced armor to it and then you get all of the tracks on the front and the side it looks exactly like it does there so I'm trying to get a shot at the Lorraine here. And I would have been able to had he have stayed right there. I took a shot just in case he was unspotted. Because that would have hit if he was presenting his side armor and I couldn't actually spot him. But he's just in a position where we are unable to hit him. So at this point... I mean, there's really no point in showing you the rest. It just entails a few minutes of us trying to kill the Lorraine and that's about it he's sat in a position where we can't get to him and if we do we're probably going to drown but the Ag Tiger 88 is going to be brave enough to push up and take that guy out so I decided to push in to the cap circle and farm some hero points by capturing the enemy flag I wouldn't do this that often and that's actually why I get out of the flag anyway because I'm hungry for more damage Maybe, maybe if I have, maybe if I killed the Lorraine, actually I'm, I, I'm going to show you this bit guys, my, my apologies. I'm just going to ramble on a bit while the Lorraine is engaging the Ag Tiger 88, but maybe if I would have killed the Lorraine, I would have secured the mastery badge for this game, but 
I really can't believe that I didn't. But that's it for that game. Let's take a look at how we did in the post-game stats. 44,000 silver earned, just shy of 4,000 experience as well. 3,567 damage done, 24 penetrations, one enemy tank destroyed, one detected, 200 assisted damage, and 300 damage blocked. Picked up only the first class mastery badge. I think that should have been a mastery badge, but a confederate medal as well. Perhaps if we had of scored some more kills, we would have picked up a mastery. I don't know what the mastery of the Boilermaker is like, but obviously it's tough because I did similar damage in a Fury and picked up the mastery. But that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you did enjoy. I will catch you in the next video. Until then, peace out.